Hey everyone, Joel Lance here, and today we are at Proof Kitchen and Lounge in Waterloo, Ontario. Having an absolutely delicious, delicious spread of food. Just look at this. Huge. And looks amazing. So, I have so many items in front of me. I'm so dang excited that I'm actually going to grab the chef. We are going to have our executive chef to walk me through everything because I got everything from like steaks, we're talking Wagyu, we got um, seafood pastas, we have beef, we have sea, like uh, fish and chips, I have burgers, all of the above. So it all looks very, very delicious. I'm super excited to get on into this. Uh, we're in for a hell of a treat. And so let me grab the chef, we'll find out what we have in front of us, and then let's get eating. So here we have the executive chef, Mr. Jarrett. So Jarrett, what do we have? Awesome. Well, you're gonna start with the beef carpaccio. So this is a strip loin crudo, mountain oak, Gouda truffle cheese, puff capers, rosemary focaccia, and of course we talked about extra truffle for you. I love truffle. And a little bit of melded salt just to kind of help it go down. I love salt, I love beef, I'm down. I Excellent. Like then we also have our grilled halloumi, awesome dish, fresh pea shoots, pomegranate molasses, fresh pomegranates, and that's just finished with preserved lemon and a little bit of spiced uh, pecans. Looks very nice. Yeah, excellent. Then we'll move to our classic fish and chips. One of the favorites at Proof Kitchen and Lounge. Uh, rockfish, ocean wise, fresh french fries, caper aioli, and some slaw just to help it go down. Love fish. Great. Then we're going to do our, we have our seafood capoletti, one of our main hits here at Proof Kitchen and Lounge. So it has bay scallops, fresh Pacific white uh, tiger shrimp. Uh, ricotta filled capoletti and that's all tossed in a beautiful vodka lobster rosé sauce. And it's like a lobster bisque, right? Exactly. Which it smells like, it smells like the East Coast. Excellent. Love it, okay. Then we'll move to your handheld. This is one of our newer additions to the menu, which is our um, truffle burger. So this is made with Guernsey cow uh, from EB Manor, which is awesome place for us. We use a lot of their products here. So that's like a local farm, right? Local Guernsey dairy farm. And yeah, so this is actually made with dairy cow meat. So it tastes like butter. So I'm down truffle, butter, and beef. Right. So we have beef. Uh, we have our mushroom duxelle, which is a reduction of onions and mushrooms, caramelized onions, topped with again, some mountain oak truffle gouda, and then made on our fresh brioche bun. Delicious. In front, we have our smoked duck breast with a barley wild mushroom risotto, finished with a little bit of duck jus. Um, so that is slow smoked, um, and then finished in a pan, rendering all that beautiful fat. It's absolutely delicious. I'm ready. Great. Then we have our Wagyu Denver cut steak. Um, so this is Robbins Island uh, out in Tasmania, Australia, in here. Beautiful steak, really robust flavors. Uh, that comes with our cheesy scalloped potatoes, vegetables, and fresh red wine jus. And that's aged too? That is aged. Nice. 40 days. One of our favorites right now, new addition. This is our honey hot fried chicken. So it's actually a tampered buttermilk chicken breast. Zambal aioli, so it's got a nice little bit of spice. Togarashi and a honey glaze that goes over it with our fresh onions and sweet pickles. And you guys pickle this here. Everything is made here. They make everything here. It's actually crazy. <laughs> and then for one of our summer dishes coming up, we have a tagine style stuffed eggplants with um, Moroccan spiced grilled chicken, fried chickpeas, pomegranate molasses, all those flavors of the Middle East. Absolutely delicious. Man, so, it, all, it all looks delicious, <laughs> it smells delicious. I am so ready for this, so thanks very much, my friend, and uh, I'll let you know how it all is. I'm, it, it, my mouth is watering, so I'm ready. All right, so let's get started. Uh, there's so much here. I don't really know where to get started, but one of my favorites, I'm always a beef fan, so I think I'm gonna start with this steak. We're talking Australian Wagyu. So I am so excited, my mouth is watering. First bite. Mm. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Mm. Mm. Cooked perfectly. Nice, medium rare. Mm. A little bit of like rosemary on that. Mm. So it's a Denver steak. So the Denver cut. Coming kind of from like the chuck, 
So you've got really, really deep, intense, beefy flavor coming from like those parts. Ooh. Mm. Oh my gosh. Mm. 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 Some lovely rendered fat in that one there. Mm. Oh my gosh. Mm. That set the bar high. And I love it. We got shake and seafood, everybody. Nothing wrong with that. Mm. 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 Oh my gosh, that's so good. Mm. Get some of these vegetables. Mm. Nice sauté vegetable. No complaints. Oh. Great place to start. And there's like a scalloped potato. They put in a little bit of a puck. Oh, ooh, mm. Oh, man, ooh. So creamy, ooh, that is delicious. Wow, holy steak. Okay, that was, damn, that was damn good. All right. Oh man, oh so rich, so buttery. Here's some, we have the carpaccio, truffle oil. Oh, oh my gosh, I love truffle. And the cheese, jeez Louise. So do you have a, like a rosemary focaccia bread here? Man, those capers, nice saltiness. Just look at this. Look at that, everybody. Beautiful beef. Mm. Lovely appetizer. The flavors are fantastic. A carpaccio, if not familiar, it's like, it's raw beef. And it's just like, The best thing ever. You gotta try it. It's so good. It reminds me kind of like a, kind of like a charcuterie. Like an item you get in a charcuterie board. I'll leave the breads because we have some more exciting items to get to. Let's try this duck breast. Smoked duck breast, everybody. With a barley risotto. So I love smoked items. Me and smoked meats. Mmm. Ooh. You know they're saying they brine this? And the cold smoker, and man, the flavor I'm getting off of that is so beautiful. It's a very delicate smoke, so it's not a slap in the face smoke. It's a very delicate smoke, which beautifully accents that that duck brush. Which is duck breast is not gamey. Has a nice little, just that like darker tone of duck. Try it with the risotto. Mm. Risotto is like local seasonal vegetables in it. I will say, best duck I've ever had. That risotto is nice, nice richness on it, but not overly heavy. Quite a lot of risottos I get are like crazy heavy, crazy creamy, not that one. And so it matches really well with the light uh, kind of smoke of that duck. Where should we, uh, who, I'm thinking fish or chips or burgers. Yeah. Let's do the fish and chips. We haven't had seafood yet. 
we had the land, now let's have some of the sea. So this is a rockfish. Looks really delicious, looks nice and crispy. I'll try it by itself. 3D crunch. Mm. Ooh, really nice beer batter. Oh man, they put that salt on top. Mm. That is fantastic. Here they I think it was a Cape Rayoli. Mmm. Woo! That is damn good. Beautiful flavors on that fish. Like, I said this is one of their classics. I definitely see why. Great crunch. The, the rockfish choice is pretty unique. But it suits it very well. In this case, it definitely reminds me of like a really nice white fish, like a haddock, a halibut. French fries. Mm. Nicely seasoned French fry. Mmm. Actually, very, very good. I'm getting like some of a bit of a. Definitely a really nice salt, definitely black pepper. I'm getting some of a little bit of a kick, which I'm gonna try with some ketchup, my favorite. Mm. Very good pairing. Really good, really good spice on these fries though. Mm. Great crunchy french fry. Love that fry spice. I'm gonna find out what that is. Is a very good fry spice. And here we have some of their coleslaw. But there's a, ooh, ooh. Real, okay, so it's definitely like a softer slaw. It has a really nice flavor in it. I'm enjoying everything. It's very good. Oh, good, excellent. It's, it is very, very good. <laughs> I have no complaints. Uh, anything else I can get you right now? Yeah, I think I'm fine, but I really appreciate it. All right. Can I take your plate? Yeah, for sure. Thanks yeah, so much. you're welcome. Awesome. Thank you. I think dill. Dill's the flavor we're getting from that slaw. It's creamy. It's crunchy. I like that a lot. Shout out this fry spice. I'm going to find out what's in it because it's fantastic. I'm going to leave some of the fries. We'll come maybe back to them later. I want to focus more on these. Got some delicious items here still. Really, we still have like, a full table of delicious items still. Next, I think let's try, I'm gonna go back to these more handheld items. Let's try this burger. I think this truffle burger will be very delicious. Got some onion straws on that as well. The Gouda, got some mushrooms. Onions. Oh, ho, 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 ho. it smells very, very good. Just look at it. That is a big bite too, so let's give it a go. Oh, and uh, I think it's a roasted pepper aioli. So they make an aioli here for it. Oh my gosh. Mm. Oh my gosh. This burger deserves a moment of silence. Mm. Man, I love animals. All right, I'm gonna stop eating for one second and describe this to you. So that beef tastes delicious. It says it actually come from dairy cows and it literally makes it taste like more buttery. That's insane. The aioli on there, beautiful richness. I'm getting a lovely amount of salt, beautiful salt, and that truffle coming through with those caramelized onions. There's so much complexity to that bite. 
with the way it comes forth and present it, it seems so simple. Mm. I would very much recommend that bird. Hot damn. That is worth seconds. Oh my gosh. Beef, salt, truffle, onion. Amazing. Amazing. All right. That was delicious. Let's just, let's, let's go for the chicken sandwich. Let's do it. I'm, if that was that good, I'm excited for this one. I'm gonna say this is tempura batter, chicken breast. Have their own house-made pickles and pickled onions here. Got a, uh, a some kind of aioli as well. Yeah, they got chili. They got some togarashi. Okay, so this very, very juicy chicken. Wow, there's a lot going on in that bite. Definitely the forefront of the flavors I'm getting is a combination of the lovely acidity of those vegetables with a warm chili and then like the lovely richness of the aioli paired with that chicken which is literally as soft as butter. I don't even saw how easily I just bit through that. Like watch this. Damn. That is soft, juicy chicken. Mmm. Like crazy. Mmm. I'm impressed. Very delicious. Definitely a little bit of heat, and definitely I'm getting some really nice lingering. So, like I said, the paredness of the acidity of the pickled vegetables, the chili flavors. Definitely has like a little bit of sweetness to it. Damn good. Damn good. Next we have the Moroccan chicken with the tagine eggplants. We have the seafood cap. And we have the halloumi. Whew, a lot of food, y'all. But very, very good. Delicious. I'll probably go with the uh, Moroccan chicken here. So Moroccan chicken a grilled breast. Shout out breasts. I love breasts. Luckily, I do have a nice pair of breasts today. Comment down below if you like breasts. Chicken breasts, of course. I'm a breast fan. Woo! Whoa! 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 All right. Very soft, tender chicken. Sorry, I'm using my hands, but. I know you put a little bit of chili oil on top, but I'm talking about these Moroccan flavors. I know I got some cinnamon, cardamom, maybe some nutmeg. Very delicious, delicious chicken. We got a little bit of sweetness coming in. I can tell from like that pomegranate and molasses, which is actually just like basically pure pomegranate. Very delicious. And the nice thing about this is it's like kind of a lighter dish. I'd say like, you know, it's a, it's grilled chicken and eggplant, right? And then a veggie tagine. Also comment down below if you have no clue what a tagine is. I know it's not sexual. But if I look at you and say, oh, I like tagines. You might take it that way. Mm. Very good. And like I said, the pairings, the mix of flavors is so dynamic. The roasted chickpeas add a crunch. Sweetness from that pomegranate. Let's try this eggplant. A few of the similar flavors of the like Moroccan chicken kind of, but definitely a little different. But this tastes very fresh, fresh tasting. This is very much like a I'm at work and I want a nice lunch, but I want to be productive in the afternoon and not sit heavy. That's what I described this meal as. 
but it's based on that Moroccan chicken is fantastic. There's a bit of uh, feta on this eggplant as well. Put some mushroom in there. But very nice mix of flavors. All right, now we're down to halloumi and the seafood capoletti. So I would say, mm, I love the halloumi and we'll save the cap for last. The cap looks delicious. It smells like the East Coast. It smells like lobster and seafood. So halloumi, this is a pea sprout salad. Very fresh. Nice sweetness from the pomegranate, pomegranate molasses. The greens and the lemon. Woo! Such a good pair. We got the halloumi. Oh, can you do pecans in there too? Mm. Ooh! So a little bit like a fried cheese, basically. It's like a squeaky cheese. I mean, it's you got like the sound of somebody dragging their feet on the floor. Squeak, squeak, squeak. Actually, that's pretty damn good. Got like a lot of sweetness with it. I will say, that's a good squeaky cheese dish. Very nicely paired with everything else. Complimentary flavors. Very good. And these pomegranates on it. Are a great addition. There's pecans too. A little sweet, a little salty. Very delicious. I need to try this cap. So that shrimp. Capoletti. Woo! I always use that plate in my tails. Mm. Oh boy. So the richness of this lobster bisque, I can just tell it already. Oh my gosh. Whoa. Got scallops in there as well. Oh my gosh, yeah. The beautiful capoletti. The, uh, the richness and the flavors of that bisque, that like the rosé, the sauce. It's literally tastes like, it tastes like a lobster bisque. Like, mm. delicious notes of seafood. Like I said, just, it literally tastes like the, like the East Coast, just this Atlantic cold water seafood flavors. Really get that lobster. Very, very delicious. This is very, very good. Ooh. Yeah, like, that's it. I taste like I'm eating seafood with that. The pasta is really nice too. Really like cheese in them, cheese filled. Very good. Ooh. And because it's like a rosé, it's not super heavy. It's not as heavy as an Alfredo. So I like that because I feel like it's lighter. It's lighter on the palate. It's like the perfect level of richness. Mm. Like that, everybody. We worked our way through the menu pretty much to my favorite part, dessert. So let's get some dessert. I'm super excited for that. And that, that's about it. Very good though. I think my favorites today, so far that is, Definitely that burger. That burger knocked my socks off. I love truffle, I love beef. Carpaccio is really nice. The steak was really good. I like beef, okay. I like beef, okay. You get you get the picture. Moroccan chicken is very, very flavorful. I really like that. The duck breast was very, very nice as well. So let me go order some dessert 
and let's see what they got. I know they have some uh, cheesecake parfaits or something like that, and then something I think it's called the Best in Show. So anyway, I'll be back with dessert. Hold your socks. Great time to let me know what your favorite item is down below. And at this point, really, if you like the video so far, hit that like button. It does help the videos out. I really appreciate it. And uh, let's be right back with dessert. All right, so we're back with dessert. So here I have what is a cheesecake parfait, which looks really cool. So it's like cream cheese kind of moussey things. Um, it's actually gluten-free, so gluten-free like graham cracker wafers uh, or like crumb, um, which is obviously layered, as you can see. And then we have fresh fruit and or berries in there. Looks like a bit like a compote kind of thing going on. So it looks very nice, very aesthetic. And then, what else to say? Big portion. And then we have what they call the best in show. So we're talking like chocolate, peanut, butter. I think there's like almonds and all kinds of like nuts in here. This is actually gluten-free and vegan apparently. So that's pretty interesting because it don't look vegan, but I believe them, but I am a vegan myself. So proudly I can eat this dessert. Shout out to all the vegans out there. So that, I don't know which one to start with though. Hmm, I'm trying to think which one would be sweeter. Uh, I think I'm. Uh, I'll start with this. I'll start with the. No, I don't know. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna try a little bite. Oh my gosh, that was so soft. Oh. Woohoo. Hmm. Whoa. Okay. Whoa. Chocolate peanut butter. Okay. Let's see how sweet this one is. Berries. Woo! Mm. Woo! They're both actually like perfectly sweet. I was gonna see if one is sweeter than the other, but not really. Let's eat this one first. The best in show. Maybe we'll go back and forth. Who knows? Look at that. Beautiful, like chocolatey, kind of like almost ganache. Mm. Peanut butter, great flavors. It's like uh, getting some, like, again, like you get some of the nuts. It's like crunchy. Really thick, really rich. Let's see if I can show this. Look at that. Just slides right through it. Beautiful. Mm. Mm. Very, very tasty. This is a killer dessert. I'm actually like, I'm, sur I'm, I'm surprised it's a vegan, to be honest. Chocolate, peanut butter, great flavors. One thing I will actually say though, is it's lovely, it's it's a lovely level of sweet, but it's not overly sweet. Like I said, I tasted them both at the beginning. I think one's gonna be a lot sweeter than the other. They're both perfectly sweet. Like just a nice rest on your palate, satisfy that deep, dark, chocolatey, peanut buttery, sexy, succulent, delicious craving that sits on your tongue with the perfect level of sweetness which tantalizes your taste buds. Cheesecake parfait. Mm. Woo! So what's really cool about this one So this is maybe like a cream cheese mousse. The textures are lovely. It's like, well, it's like a mousse. Mm. Mm. Funny thing, a few years ago, when I started doing YouTube videos, I didn't really like cheesecake. I've since grown to like cheesecake because I've had really good cheesecakes. And this sits in that list. 
the berries, really fresh. The graham crackers, just a nice texture, a nice flavor. I really like the fact that it's like a mousse, because it tastes like, you know, cheesecake. It feels like cheesecake, but cheesecake which is airier and a little lighter. Normally cheesecake is almost like the consistency of that best in show, actually. That's where you can put it. So to have this, with this kind of a texture, delectable, delicious. I like it. Lick the cup. I have no shame. At least when it comes to food. Well, at that, everybody. I have been shown the proof. Shown the proof. And they say the proof is in the pudding. Or how about in the cheesecake parfait? So, proof. I've enjoyed everything. And I have proof of it. You saw it in this video. It was actually very, very delicious. My expectations were definitely, like not even just met. Everything was phenomenal, exceeding my expectations. I would definitely, definitely recommend coming here. Like I said, everything is start to finish. Our appetizers, even if we didn't eat them as appetizers, were fantastic. Our entrees were fantastic. These desserts were fantastic. People here have been absolutely great. It's a beautiful looking restaurant. So I definitely recommend if you're either in Waterloo, Kitchener Waterloo, or at all through in around Kitchener Waterloo area, it's definitely worth a stop on in. Or even if you gotta make a bit of a trip, it's well worth it. So yeah, with that everybody, I have no complaints. Definitely would recommend. If you come on by, tell them you saw this video, this guy eating a lot of food. I'm sure you guys have a good laugh about that. The guy who ate, you know, I don't know what, s multiple entrees, seven, eight, nine, ten plates. Uh, but everybody, again, I really appreciate you watching, appreciate the support. Thank you for your watching, thank you for your viewership, thank you for your comments down below. I appreciate you, thank you for the likes on that video. If you like it, like I said, feel free to subscribe. Lots of videos coming your way, lots of eating content as we continue to explore great restaurants, having great food, great places, great people, and that's about it. So I appreciate you, thank you so much. I totally would recommend Proof, I loved it here. I will definitely be back myself. One of those burgers, the steaks, the chicken, dessert. Loved it. So everybody, until next time, say happy, healthy, hungry, happy eating. Get yourself some good food, but don't do what I do. You don't need this much. Nobody needs as much food. So that everybody, until next time, happy eating. And have a nice day. everyone thank you so much for watching today's video i really appreciate it if you click my face right here you can subscribe yes that's right click my face subscribe guys it helps me out it helps you out then you don't miss an upload and hopefully i can meet you when i come to your city also click a video right here i specifically pick two videos yes that's right two videos specifically for you right here so click a video right now get that going and it's going to end so click one quick let's go let's go and have a great day